How we doing? I'm good. I'm good. Um, good first day back. Uh, I didn't like our tempo. I didn't like the way we practiced. Told him that. And we kept starting over. So that's what we'll do until we get it right. We're going to keep working and keep getting it right. Is there any reason Ratley got so many reps today? No, I know. I know Callaway uh, had a little rib, but he'll be fine. Uh, so he got a little bit more than normal, but he made some plays, which I thought was exciting to see. Was it from the game, the rib? Uh, I'm sure it was. I mean, he tried to fight through. I mean, I'm glad he's out there trying and competing and going and catching. And uh, But again, he's got to learn. Sometimes you got to play with those things a little bit. So we'll get through it. Hey, you, when you uh, watched the film, what did you think of? The run offense, right at the not good enough. There's, there's nothing else to say about it. Just wasn't good enough. Not our standard. We'll get it better. So why, why can you look and say this was a problem? That was a problem. We didn't block them good enough. Just that simple. That's what it was. And how much of that was because most of the running came came with the second offensive line. Probably so. The the ones didn't have many opportunities to to run. We threw it with that group. You know, there was a couple runs we had, but overall we didn't run the ball the way we know we can. So we'll get better. Is Zaylor short term to the extent you to the extent you expect him back for the season? I, I, yeah, I do expect him back. Yes. We saw Harrison out of left tackle for the first time. Right. And, you know, what is a realistic expectation for him? I mean, he his just background and how he hasn't practiced yet. Right. No, he just gotta you know get get back into practicing and playing football and um, just learning the system. I mean, but again, hopefully we can get him up and ready so he can go compete this weekend. We need to evaluate him in a game setting. Uh, but he's out there practicing. We'll see how the day went, you know, after, you know, see how he'll be sore or whatever that is and kind of go from there. But I anticipate him being up this week and have an opportunity to play. Hugh, the, the Denzel Ward play preceding the tone, the actual defensive play, did your film look like it, was, it would have been flagged at all? I mean, they threw the flag. You know, at the end of the day, I just think, you know, we have to abide by those rules. I mean, did they... They flagged him for taunting. Yes, they? because he stood up over the guy. But I mean the actual hit of the helmet. Yeah, well, it wasn't. They didn't call that. And, um, again, it wasn't. I, I mean, I, I know what you're saying because the way he went in to go hit the guy. I think it was more of the taunting. I didn't think they felt it was a helmet-to-helmet -helmet collision. So they called it because of him making a gesture yeah. over the player, and I get it. you know. And, again, we've talked to our team about it, and we'll do away with those. Can you talk about to the I mean, he's a, he's a solid football player, obviously, you know, and he's uh, he's really solidified the middle of our, our defense. Down the middle is where you got to be strong. Uh, he has the foot speed and the ball skills, and I believe he'll tackle. He'll be the first to tell you probably could have took a better angle on that run, on the first run of the game. Uh, but I, I think, uh, again, he's back to playing safety for the first time since he was in college. So there's some things he's got to continue to work at, too. But I'm, I'm glad he's back there. Did you decide not to work with another team this summer, or did you just not find the right fit? Uh, probably didn't find the right fit. I called around. You know, sometimes I think people want to practice against us. we got a mad scientist on defense. You know, I think people get afraid that he's going to unearth everybody over there. So... Uh, but no, we, we tried and, and, you know, it just didn't fit into the schedule. You, during Cardinals, um, the other night, they showed the, the scene of you and uh, your staff members. And it uh -huh. just looked like there was, you know, like a little tension or something that was going on between you and Todd regarding oh my gosh, no. who was practicing when no. veterans taking these so, off. Yeah, I can describe that. I'm glad you brought that up, Mayor Kay. So let me back up. Was it you that told me that we do a great job? Why haven't we had any soft tissue injuries? Yes, Thank you. So for the last two years, we have not had any right. soft tissue injuries. And I think I said that day was because of our medical staff right. and myself. We put a plan together to make sure that the guys, we have very good data that says that if a guy is very close and people don't get it, that two days from then, it is, they're going to pull. And there's a good chance that they will pull. And we've done this now for two years, and we've had really good success. And I don't think Todd meant anything by it. I just think from his feeling, he's been different places, and everybody has a different way of doing things. It's just how we do it here, and it works for us. The most important part, I think, is that we keep our players healthy. Because if we end up losing somebody, they won't be out here practicing. But there was no animosity or anything like that. It wasn't a, a back and forth between Todd and myself. Todd gets it. Trust me. I mean, that has never come up again. I mean, I, in, I want our guys to ask questions about those things. But once I explain them, then we move forward. That just, that's the way it works. It's a great thing.
Oh, absolutely. I think I think my staff will tell you that I don't. They're able to ask, say whatever they like. But at the end, you, there's a start and a finish to anything, right? So there's a finish. Let's move forward. Let's keep going. Hey, you talk about, a question about Ken Zampezi. We know his resume, and that's about all you know him real well. Mm -hmm. What's he bringing to this team? He's he's a developer of quarterbacks. You know, I can I've been with Kenny. We've been together for quite a few years. That's why I brought him here. You know, I wanted to feel comfortable that if I wasn't going to be around that room as much, that they'd be in great hands. And, and my relationship with him goes way back. Uh, I know how he goes about it. You know, we kind of learned together and been together. So that's why Kenny's here. He's done a great job. I think you can see uh, we have some very talented players in that room, but also they've been coached, and he's done a great job that way. Hey, when you came here, were you a believer in that sports science that says what you just described about when I first came here, yeah. no, because I didn't understand it. Zebra has gone to a whole different level, you know, and uh, that's the one thing that analytics. Uh -oh, OK, uh, that's the one piece of analytic information that I really like, you know, because I think that data really shows, you know, and I don't I had to learn that it's not the day that it affects the player it's two days later that all of a sudden you lose a player and then all of a sudden you don't practice guys. And here we go. And we've been fortunate. You know, again, we've had a really good. Uh, staff that's giving me the information. We trade back and forth and make those decisions on what we think is right. And I think the most important thing, we only have one or two guys that are down every now and then, you know, so it's really spaced out. So we make sure that we get the practice that we need, but also make sure that we take care of our players the best we can. So by the same Jarvis gave the impassioned speech, but that also Right. I, I think with Jarvis, I think Jarvis was coming at it from a different angle, in my opinion, with his room and his unit. And I understand that because in order to play receiver, I mean, those guys got to run all day. Let's just be honest. And I think that's where he was coming from. I don't think he meant it for the football team. I think he meant it for his room in general because he knows receivers got to fight through some things so they can come out the other side of it. But at the same time, I got to watch him too because we got to keep him up and running, you know, and I think that's important because he's going to be very vital to what we do on offense. Q, there's a lot of effort at this camp in developing the young receivers, starting with Higgins, Callaway, and even Ford and all those guys. Mm -hmm. And before the game, Dorsey talked to us and explained that's one of the contributing factors why he traded Coleman because we felt these young guys were coming on. Is there any discussion now? I mean, that Brian thing, do, we, do you really want to mess with what you want? We can have going. Is, is that a discussion point at all? Oh, no, it's a discussion. I think we have a lot of good things going, but at the same time, I don't think you can ever have too many good football players, you know, as long as they fit, you know, as long as it's the right fit for the organization, for the locker room, for all involved. And I think um, that's John's charge. That's what he's trying to do. Uh, I think we'll continue to do that in a number of different positions. If we can get better, we still need to continue to get better. And I think that's how he sees it. Hey, uh, and then, just to get back to that Todd Haley thing, you mentioned mental toughness. So, and you have to build that if you're coming up. Oh, absolutely. 16. So, I mean, besides pushing guys through injury, which I get your point, how do you go about building that mental toughness? It's how you practice. It's the environment that you create in practice. I think you see, yeah, we, we go hard. I mean, we bump into each other. We run into each other. That's the other side of it for me. I've never been one that we patty cake at practice. I mean, we go after it, and that's the other side. So you got to practice physical and tough, but you also got to take care of them because you can't have it both ways. If you do both, then players are going to break down. And I think, you know, again, that's when the locker room goes, what are you doing? So I think uh, our players understand them and push them, but at the same time, if they're close and if something says there's an issue, we're going to take care of them that way as well. So did you say, did you say that? Uh, Nothing's changed. Uh, Tyrod Taylor's our starter. Baker Mayfield's a young, talented player. That's We have a bright, bright future ahead with that young man. That's when, what we are. When, did you say that? Did you talk about Zebra or something? You're, you're talking about the... Uh, the technology Zebra? Yeah. Yeah. The, there's some technology that tracks everything that a player does out here on the field from a running standpoint. So all the yards they cover in practice, we know at the end of practice. And so I get a report from our sports science guy that says, okay, this guy's in the red or this guy's in the green or this guy's in the yellow and be careful, be cautious, be this, be that. And then we get together and make decisions based on where they could be. And sometimes that's because somebody might be down in a group. It might be a player missing. Uh, it could be because the guy just had a lot of work in, the, you know, in his unit. It could be special teams combined. 
a lot of different things lead to that. And so the guys in the red, that's when you say. Oh, yeah, look out, because normally those guys are going to break down. Was the Carl Nassib that people saw in Hard Knocks the real Carl That is the real Carl Nassib. There is no doubt about it. Don't let him fool you. That's who he is. Anything else? Yeah. Sure, if I talked about the, the tempo that you didn't like, you seemed a little annoyed. I was. We got to go faster. We got to play faster. I think when the offense plays fast, it makes the defense play fast. You know, I think our defense got to get uh, down in their stance and beat the offense to their stance, and I think the offense got to go push the defense. I, I, there is a time when you play methodical, when you're going to line up and smash the other team, and you're a little bit better than they are, but that's not who we are yet. So we have to play with a tempo at all times, and we have to continue to find our tempo. It's normally the quarterback's tempo. We play the way our quarterback likes to play, and that's, that's how you go about it. What's your overview? I think he did a good job. He kept himself between the rusher and the quarterback, you know, and I think from that standpoint, that was good. I think there's still some fundamental things he's got to continue to work at. He'll be the first to tell you that, how he places his hands, his sets and those things. But again, that's why I said it was great. We made a decision when we did. He got to play a tremendous rusher last week. He'll play another one this week, and we'll play another one the week after that. So hopefully by the time we get to the regular season, if that's the situation we're still in, we're ready to go. What about the guy next to him? What about Corbett? He played a bunch of snaps. How do you think he did? No, he did. I think uh, it was good to have him out there. Uh, I thought he battled. I think he's tough. He's got some things to improve on as well. Uh, but I was happy. I mean, again, uh, there was I didn't see a bunch of pressure on the quarterback from his side, so that was good. When I watched the tape, there are some fundamental things that he's got to continue to to work at. But again, as a young player playing in his first game, I give him a thumbs up for that. But he's he's got to improve over the next several weeks. Callaway, Last one here. Callaway played well into the fourth quarter. Absolutely, that some was the plan. That discipline. It was. It was. I was trying to make him play the whole game if we could. I didn't want him to come out. Because uh, that was part of the consequence of what he'd been through, and he knows that. That's what it was. Either you sit him or make him play. I thought it was better to make him play. Make him play as long as he could. There was a couple of times he kept waving to come out. We said, no, stay in there. And the way he uh, persevered, did you he, like that? I did. He worked through it. I mean, because there was times, like I said, he had his hands. I'm sure you guys seen hands on his head like this, and he was ready to go to the sideline. We go, uh-uh, you're back in there. So he fought through it and, and came out the other side of it and made some plays. So that was, that was good.